Hey folks, uh, Mr. Bullock here, and this uh, review will get you ready for your first test in Algebra 2. Let's go ahead and begin. Evaluate the expression for the given value of the variable. Okay, so here negative 3x plus 7 when x equals negative 4. So you're just going to plug in negative 4 right there for x. So it's going to be uh, negative 3 times negative 4, which becomes a positive 12, and 12 plus 7 is 19. Okay, I know I'm going kind of fast, you guys, but uh, you guys can pause it down over here in this left-hand corner. Just hit pause, okay? So here I'm going to plug in x equals negative 2 right there and y equals negative 3 right there. Watch out for the negatives, you guys. Only the, um, the, the negative is being squared, uh, not the negative 3. Just the negative 2 is being squared, okay? So negative 2 squared becomes a positive 4, you guys. So... And then here I have a negative 9 times a negative 3 is a positive 27. Okay, so don't forget, you still got the negative with the 3. Negative 3 times 4 is a, po is a negative 12, and negative 12 plus 27 is positive 15. All right, so simplify the expression. Okay, so here you're going to combine like terms, you guys. So, so I combined the blue y's, and then I combine, combine the, the red y squareds. Okay, those are my like terms. And that's your answer right there. That's all you can do. All right? Okay, same on this one. Go ahead and distribute uh, the 5 through and the 6 through. Okay, when I distribute, I get uh, 10b plus 15. Here I get 30b uh, minus 66. All right, and then you're going to combine like terms and you get 40b minus 51. Okay, easy enough. All right, notice how I did the colors to show you the, which ones are which. Solve the equation, check your solution. Okay, so here, distribute the 4 through. 4x minus 20 equals 16. Now we're going to add 20 to both sides and get 4x equals 36. So divide by 4, you get x equals 9. Don't forget it says to check your solution. So follow the directions, you guys. Check your solutions. Going to plug in 9 right where I see x. So 9 minus 5 becomes 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 equals 16. All right. Okay, this one. Going to go ahead and distribute, you guys, and you get that. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to subtract 16y from both sides and plus this red 6 to both sides, this red negative 6, okay? And what happens is, is I get negative, or, uh, negative 34 equals 2y, so y equals negative 17. And then it's kind of messy when you check, you guys, but uh, I inserted brackets right here. So here's I inserted brackets for this parenthesis and this parenthesis, and I ended up getting a, um, a true statement, negative 312 equals negative 312. Just be careful. Watch when you're multiplying. I'll, I will admit I made a mistake right here. I got negative uh, 36, and so this became a mess right here. So I had to go back and double-check my answers because it wasn't checking off over here. I was checking my answers, and it wasn't checking off. So I knew I made a careless error, so I went ahead and did that. Okay. Okay, solve for y, all right, and then find y, uh, then find the value of y when x equals 4. Okay, so there's two parts. Got to solve for y. Here we go. Subtract 5x from both sides and then divide by negative 11. There we go. And then uh, when I divide by negative 11, uh, you, can't, you can't keep the negative in the denominator. That's uh, considered to be tacky. So what I'm going to do is uh, absorb it on top. So it's going to change that to a negative 7 and that to a plus 5. That's what this says right here. Now they probably write it like this. They think this looks a little cleaner than this. I'll take either one of those answers right there. Okay, that's this part right now. So now we've got to plug in 4. X equals 4. So I'm going to do it into this one right here. So 5 times 4 minus 7 is right up here. And I get uh, 13 thirds. I'm at school right now, so you can hear announcements going on. i got to go to a meeting, so I'm kind of... Kind of going fast. Okay, while on vacation, your family rented a car for $293. The car rental costs $180 plus 25 cents for every mile driven over 150 miles. So they give you the first 150 free. How many miles did you drive while on vacation? Whoops, I didn't answer. I already know I made a mistake, you guys, so I'll correct it here. I didn't read that last sentence until now. Okay, so think of y equals mx plus b, where m is slope, and slope typically is rate of change. So the rate of change is going to be this 25 cents for every mile over 150. Okay, so x is how many miles over 150. Okay, so whenever I solve for x, and I didn't answer this correctly, we'll answer it in this video right here. I already know I didn't. Okay, so, so the final cost is 293 bucks. That's how much they had to pay. The rate of change is at 25 cents per mile. And the initial cost is 180, you guys. So here we're looking for X, you guys. So here we go. Y equals MX plus B. This is the final cost, Y. And then the, um, the, how much it's going to go for each mile. And then plus 180. So we're going to solve for X. And I made a mistake right here. Okay, so um, you got to add these two. It's 452 miles over 
450, so that's going to get me 602 miles. The true answer is 602 miles. Let's see if I can get that in there. 602 miles. You guys know me by now. I make mistakes all the time. So that's the final answer right there. Okay, 602 miles. All right. All right. Lots of emails in here after school. Look for a pattern and write an equation that represents the table. Okay, so here's this. So the pattern is, is x increases by 1, y decreases by negative 3. Minus 3, minus 3, minus 3 as x goes up plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Okay, so slope is uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. I chose these y sub 2s minus y sub 1. I'm sorry, this y sub 2 minus this y sub 1 over this x sub 2 minus this x sub 1. So I get the slope is negative 3. Remember, y equals mx plus b. b is always when x equals 0. So when they give me x equals 0, that's just b right there, okay? So uh, plug it all in, you get y equals negative 3x plus 25. Okay, I think on the test, you guys, I'm going to ask you to plug in, you know, x equals 8 or something on the test or something. So, so after you get this equation, then just plug in x equals 8 right there, so neg negative 3 times 8 and then plus 25. You get 1, something like that. It's not the same problem, but anyways. Okay, solve then graph. Okay, a few of these. Okay, negative 5x minus 6, less than 19. Treat this just like an equal sign, so I'm going to go ahead and add 6 to both sides, and I get 25 over there, and then divide by negative. Watch out when you divide by negative, it flips the inequality in the other direction, okay? There's my algebra answer, open circle here at negative 5, and shaded that way, okay? So there's my graph answer right there. Okay, okay. this one here, this is um, uh, an and statement. This is a shaded in between. It's an intersection. So I got to get rid of this plus 3. Minus 3, minus 3, minus 3 right there. Okay, and uh, so I get that. And then I'm going to divide everything by this number right here, 2. So divide everything by 2. There's my algebra answer. There's my graph answer. Open circle here, close circle here. So there it is right there. Okay, easy, huh? All right, let's try an absolute value, okay? Now, uh, my, my uh, last lesson that I did, which was like sections 1.5 and 6, or 6 and 7, I forgot what it was, but it's the one on absolute values, you guys. Okay, what you're going to do is let that equal plus or minus 14. So 3x minus 4 equals the negative 14, or 3x minus 4 equals positive 14. Here's my plus or minus 14. Okay, and just solve each one of those. And when you solve each one of those, then you put dots on the numbers that you get. So here I did plus 4 plus 4, negative 14 plus 4 is negative 10, plus 4 plus 4 is 18, then I divide it by 3. 3 goes into that, uh, negative 10 thirds, which is negative 3 and a third, which is right there, and then 3 goes into that 6 times. All right. Okay, when you have an absolute value and it's less than, then you put the, this is like the problem we did just a few little bit ago, when it's uh, less than or equal to, then the negative 25 floats over here, the positive 25 floats over here, and this stuff goes in the middle. Then we're going to subtract 5 first, get rid of this 5 right here. Now I'm going to divide everything by 6, and then go ahead and graph it right there. Okay, close circles on both of those. All right, when it's greater than, it's an or statement. An or statement means we're going to do the negative side and flip it, and then it's the positive side, okay? And then solve each one of those, and um, whoops, I, gosh, I made a mistake on this graph here. Let me see if I can get rid of some of that, that little dude right there. Uh, it's an or statement. Let me delete. Let me go back and graph that guy. Golly, I made another mistake. So I'm just trying to hurry. I'm going to my meeting. So it's shading that way for the less than negative 4, and it's shading this way for the positive, uh, greater than positive 6. Okay, so uh, that would be your correct answer. All right. All right, and if you are in my class, I would suggest um, taking a look at some more problems here. Okay. All right, you guys, take care.